This is Sensei Buck Snyder. I'm a martial artist, nature lover, and total nerd. Come have fun with Sensei in the Wild. All right, what's up, YouTube? Guess what? We got another bug video today, and this is an amazing bug. Come check him out. I got him right here in the sun so we can see him. This is a rainbow scarab beetle, and he gets that name because look at the coloration on him. The carapace on his back is all gold, and uh, the back, the, his actual shell in the back is green. He's got very shiny uh, uh, antenna in the front, and look, he's got that giant horn in the front. That horn designates him as a male, okay? And so it's an extremely cool looking little beetle, right? And look, as far as things go, compare him to my hand size, it's a fairly good size beetle, right? So you might be looking at this beetle and think, oh, that's a pretty cool beetle. Other people think it's a pretty crappy beetle. And let me tell you why. This is a dung beetle, okay? That's the type of beetle he is. So dung beetles mean, uh, they're very popular. They're all around the world. They live in every continent except Antarctica. And a dung beetle is a kind of beetle that eats basically poop. They find animal poop out in nature and they roll it up into a ball and then they move it around and, and they're called that poop is called dung and so uh, these that's what these beetles do and they're extremely helpful for the environment because if you have big animals like elephants or even uh, cows or uh, buffalo these guys have a lot of poop and the little beetles come along and they maintain and clean up this poop and which is great because flies they lay eggs in poop and flies are one of the big uh, spreaders of disease and so these guys maintain the poop so we have fewer flies with diseases okay guys a couple other facts about these beetles uh, they were worshipped in Egypt uh, thousands of years ago because of the way they looked and uh, their ancestors looked a little tiny bit different I think they were a little bit bigger in Egypt but there you can see why I mean look at this amazing bug in this light it's so beautiful it's kind of the emerald of the insect world I mean look at its back and um, the cool thing about this dung beetle, I was telling you, there are dung beetles that live in all parts of the world, and they, tons of them live in America. However, this is the rarest dung beetle in America. So out of all the dung beetles there are, there are fewer of these and harder to find. These, uh, these are harder to find than any of the other ones. So uh, it's really cool that we were able to come across this one here. So I'm gonna take him out, and now they can fly. If you look at the, the, the in the back, that thing can separate and there are wings underneath. So he might fly off while we're doing this video and if he does, then he's got a new home out here in the middle of the park. Okay, so as you can see, he's a harmless little beetle. And look how beautiful that coloration is against my skin. Now he's trying to dig into my hand right now because he thinks I'm soil. It's actually kind of funny to feel his little, little claws digging into me, but he's trying. Look at him. Such a cool, awesome little beetle. Now, so I was telling you about the dung. So what these guys do is they'll find poop somewhere and they'll roll it up into balls and then they dig a, a tunnel in the dirt. And they're big time diggers. And they'll roll the poop down into the hole and then the female will come along and she'll lay her eggs in the uh, poop and the babies are born there and that's what they eat when they're first born and so uh, that's how these guys eat that's how they procreate and they only live about 45 days so they're kind of a short life bug but most bugs are Let's check him out okay I think we're just gonna leave him here and let him find his new home here in the park plenty of uh, people walk their dogs around here so he'll have plenty of food and uh, hopefully you can find a little girl beetle and they can have some babies and keep on going. So uh, we'll show you some videos and some photos of this little guy right now so y'all can get a really good look at him. Okay, we appreciate you watching, and as always, keep it wild. 